guys. I hope my camera doesn't die. I'm at like 4%. Um, sorry if my lipstick is messed up. I ate, so it probably rubbed off a little bit. But anyway, that's beside the point. And it looks like there's something. Oh no, I thought it was a bug, but it's my peephole. Anyway, it's like, oh my god, there's a spider behind me. Anyway, that's why I should look here and not up there. Um, I'm going to put up a video tonight of my favorite glute exercises. Um, I wanted to film an intro because I'm very bad at filming intros. First of all, I need to like film one that's like, hey, my name is Sam, because not everyone knows who I am and I never introduce myself. But okay, so if you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha and I put up fitness videos. Um, I'm kind of trying to steer into the mental health direction as far as like combining fitness and mental health together. So that's kind of my take on you know a fitness channel I film workouts um, recipe videos I take you through my day things like that and we're right in the middle of vlogmas so today's video is going to be um, all of my favorite glute exercises not all of them but I picked like a bunch I don't even know a number yet but I picked a bunch of my favorites and I'm going to talk you through them this time instead of just put the workout name up I'm going to talk you through the exercise and give you information about it and how to do it. So that is going to be today's video. So I hope you enjoy and be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, I could talk you through my favorite like back exercises, arm workouts, things like that. Um, and yeah, so I am going to talk you through all of those. So if you just, <laughs> I can't see, this is why I don't film intros. Um, if you would like to see some of my favorite glute exercises, then please keep watching. And I also film a lot of my glute workouts on for Instagram, I'll put up a glute exercise like all the time because somehow like when I'm at the gym and there's not a lot of people and I can film, that happens to be a leg day almost every time. So I film a lot of glute workouts and I put up a lot of glute exercises on Instagram. So follow me there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go. Okay guys, so the first exercise is cable pull-throughs. I just use a rope for this one. Um, you want the rope to be in between your legs and you want your legs to be pretty wide with your toes pointed out. That's going to target your glutes a lot more. And you just want to bring the rope forward and thrust your pelvis forward. You don't want to use your arms to bring the rope forward. It should be your glutes and your legs. And this is going to work your glutes so much. You'll also feel it in your hamstrings, which is awesome but it's not supposed to be pretty by any means. I know a lot of people think it's goofy and I actually had a group of girls like openly laughing at me when I was doing these, but you know what? It works so well and I know it's not a pretty movement, but it works your glutes tremendously and you will feel these as long as you, you know, use your glutes to bring the rope forward as far as um, not using your arms. So try these out. Trust me. They are one of my favorites. I always use these and you can go pretty heavy with these as well. So try them out for sure. Next we have cable kickbacks or glute kickbacks, whatever you want to call them. A lot of bikini girls use these. Um, I tried to go a little lower for this one, so I'm kind of bent over forward a little bit more than usual. But basically, you just want to push your heel back and upward. Um, I usually like to start like I'm pushing straight back, and then I kind of go upward a little bit with my heel. And that hits my glutes a lot more. It's kind of up to you to see how you feel and how you know the movement works your glutes and not your hamstrings because that tends to happen sometimes. If you wanted your hamstrings to get worked, you could straighten your leg, but I like to keep mine bent so that I use my glutes a lot more. And you just want to really squeeze at the top and make sure you feel it. You don't need to go super heavy on these. Um, I feel like I go pretty light, but I definitely feel it. Um, and I don't really worry about going too heavy as long as I feel it in my glutes. But yeah, these are amazing. And you can do them with a lot of different ways. You can do them on the Smith machine. You can do them with a dumbbell behind your knee and do it that way. Um, you can do them with bands like I am in this video or here. Um, I tried to do like shorter like pulsing type of movements with these because if I brought my leg all the way forward the bands would fall down and if I kept that constant tension on my glutes it felt a lot better than if I didn't. So you can also use bands. I like to superset glute kickbacks with the bands with other workout moves or other workout moves, other glute moves. So you could also do that but they're amazing and try them out as well and you can do them a lot of different ways like I said. The next move 
is squat pulses. I don't really know what to call these, but I just grab a dumbbell and I hold it in between my legs and I have my legs pretty far out again with my toes pointed out and I just pulse. I know it looks like I'm not going very low, but it's probably because I'm leaning forward, but you want to stay low in that squat and just pulse it out and these will burn so quickly and they really target your glutes, especially if you have your toes pointed out and you can also use a pretty heavy dumbbell for these. You could like hold the dumbbell in a goblet squat type of um, hold, but I just use, I just have it in between my legs hanging so I can go a little bit heavier because when I have to hold it in a goblet squat way, it doesn't really work that well. Um, and here we have cable squats, which are also one of my favorites. You can go really heavy with these if you want to as well. They're so much better on me than back squats. So I haven't done back squats in forever because of these. And you can also point your toes out for these to target your glutes more. But go heavy, use a bar, use a rope, whatever attachment you want, and just go down. The weight kind of counterbalances you so that you're not going to like fall forward or fall backward or anything. It feels funny at first, but these are amazing and you can go pretty deep past parallel if you want to. And when I do back squats, I can't really do that because I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So these are so much better. If you have trouble with back squats, try these and see if they're better for you. The next movement is on the GHD machine. I call these glute extensions. It's kind of like a back extension, but you're really going to focus it on your glutes. So when you come up, you want to push your pelvis forward and thrust forward and just squeeze your butt as hard as you can. And that's going to work your glutes so much more than your back because it's very easy for these to turn into a back exercise. But if you really just push forward with your pelvis and or your groin or whatever you want to call it um, and push your hips forward, that's going to work your glutes more. Next we have reverse hex squats and these are another ugly movement or not ugly but just awkward and but they work your glutes so much and they're awesome. So just flip around on a hex squat machine and try it out that way. I love these. I know they're so awkward and I always have people staring but they really target your glutes um, instead of your hamstrings or quads. It's amazing and ever since I started doing these I have noticed such a difference in my glutes and in my hamstrings. They're great to do if you have the machine around you. Some people, some gyms don't have them, but they're awesome. The next move we have are hip thrusts. These are another really popular movement to put into your glute routine. Um, basically, you can do these a lot of ways as well. I used an easy bar for this one just because Planet doesn't have bars with plates, which would be great for this. Um, but anyway, you just want to rest the bar across your hips and thrust upward and squeeze your booty as hard as you can. And that is really it. It's a very simple movement, but it works so well. And if you want, you can use a pad or a towel if you're if the bar tends to hurt your hips. I'm usually pretty okay with it. Um, and then you can also do them on the leg extension machine, which is what I'm doing right here. The pad kind of offers you some support right there if you do get irritated by the bar. Um, and you can also go pretty heavy with these, so give it a shot. The next one that I love are their perverts, um, or that's what I call them. I don't really know what you call them, but you're on the hip adductor abductor machine and you stay in a squat the entire time and just push the pads out. I can never reach the pads, so I kind of just do it without using the pads, but they're another great movement to do for your glutes. And I lean my body forward a little bit so that, um, it is targeting more of my glutes. So if you just like tilt your body forward, it'll kind of change it up. You could also just sit in the squat like normal. So yeah, guys, those are a few of my favorite glute exercises. If you would like to see more of these types of videos or mo more glute moves, because I do have a lot of others that are my favorite, please let me know and I would love to do more videos like this. And I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas. I will see you guys later. Bye.